Yeah. Yeah, we're having a record. Long time. Long time. We're having a recorded call. We're tr- we we made contact in uh, Haiti again, and the uh, USA. They said they're ready to move, and we t- said we want to. We are uh, having a basketball tournament tomorrow. Tomorrow in the Mali Empire, with uh, Borgu and Niger State. So we're saying, can we move Ebo land? And we said, uh, NBC has a lot of uh, funding in the USA, and you have an NBC connection, and you're based in Anugu, I think. So we said, can we work together, maybe have uh, your voice at the uh, basketball tournament tomorrow uh, to, uh, and to endorse us going forward so we could try to work together out of uh, – because, you know uh, – Eze Jean Walla from NBC, but he's in Anugu. You're in Anugu. We're thinking maybe you could be the secretary for any Anugu activities, and we think it would work better that way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you say all right? So, uh, Prince Prince Yakubu, when would you think uh, you think? So you would say, uh, Prince Yakubu said that uh, they're having the basketball tournament around five p.m. evening tomorrow, <clears throat> and you know you're uh, maybe that you could endorse or speak with the people going forward about what you plan to do in Anugu. I know you're doing farming. Uh, I know you're doing farming there. You know you t- you uh, spoke about the basketball too. Even reminded you came and said that you'd still be wanting to do the basketball, but the thing is funding. And I think uh, if we could get a uh, Eze Ginoala's endorsement, uh, I know you've gotten his endorsement for Sunrise activities in the past. I think uh, if we could do some sort of media together and raise awareness in the USA that uh, things will go f- even f- further as far as uh, funds and business partnership coming in. Uh, I have a I have a leadership over here that's in Ghana right now. So maybe uh, she's on a different app, but she says she'd, she'd be willing maybe to talk to everybody. She's just on a different app because it pays her. But we have, we have support here now in the USA, but we just want to see if maybe we could have uh, as a Jean Wala and MB say, uh, the, the Nigerian Igbo immigrants to try to come on board uh, this whole idea of uh, autonomous community self determination. Because over here, they're not really supporting. But if you can uh, speak up for us, I think they'll come on board. Well, that's not a bad idea. All right, this one, though, would be in Anugu. I know it's not a kingdom, but uh, from Anugu to NBC to NBC USA, if uh, I think uh, that would be a good idea, especially it's elections. You never know what could happen. But we, we agreed uh, with Prince Yakubu that we're going to just have a Borgu and a Bornu. We're going to try and bring Bornu along. Of course, you know, Ija, Goni, and all those will all come along. But we want to focus right now on uh, uh uh, Anugu, NBC, Henry, we just if we could have your voice in media, and you could you could even handle the funds for Anugu as a secretary. I think that would be okay. Uh, the media is just we've we've had a lot of uh, people trying to compete with us. They say they're doing the same thing, but they don't want to come on board. So that's one of the things. But we we have leadership in Haiti now. We have leadership in the USA. We just that they would want to speak. If there's any media, we can refer you to them. But we're ready to go. It's just a lot of uh, jealousy over here. Uh, a lot of uh, different views. A lot of people <clears throat> don't know even black people from here help to create uh, countries like Nigeria and Sierra Leone and Liberia. So sometimes they don't want to hear from the the. Uh, uh, Igbo community or the idea or Ija or Goni talking about oil. There's a lot of people help create Nigeria over here. So we have 
some opposition, but it's okay. But that's that's it hasn't been a smooth ride, but we have support now. So if it's USA contacts, if yeah. it's if it's uh, Haiti, and that you want to do media with them or speak with them, I have them now. Uh, of uh, West Papua New Guinea, you know what they're going through. I have those contacts. Maybe even India, we could get them eventually. But we have we have everything ready now. Yep, uh, Prince Will, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, please, well, will you be available tomorrow around 5 p.m. Uh, to interact with the basketball players tomorrow? Okay. But well, I know who I'm talking with. And this is Prince Bill, the, the, the secretary of the Burgu Empire. Okay. Yeah. In, in Niger yeah, State. In Niger State, Nigeria, Niger State. Okay. But, uh, yeah. yeah, okay, I hope it works out tomorrow. I, it turns out Borgu Empire is at least uh, in seven countries, or maybe six countries. There's a town in, uh, there's a neighborhood yeah. in Ghana, Mali, Ivory Coast, Benin. So go Faso, yeah. yeah, maybe that's six or seven. And then even in Gabon, we have a Gabon Igbo there yeah. that are ready to trigger Central African states. Uh, ec- economic community, ECCAS, Sasiba. So we're, we're yeah. Uganda, Gabon is here. <clears throat> uh, Nigeria is really handling most of the continent. So if we could have your support, even tomorrow, that will mean a lot. And even we we purchase the news media. Yeah, I think, <coughs> I think, I think by tomorrow, what, what I have to do is I'll put a call in the group, in this same group tomorrow, bro. But it's going to be a video conference. Okay, and at at the at yeah. scheduled time, and if <coughs> gonna be five. Okay, and if Prince Will can attend that, then that will be good. But even if he misses it, you know, uh, there's still the Borgu Energy News. You know that yeah. we could report it. That uh, you guys, if you guys just speak about it, even if you miss the call about plans going forward. You know, maybe to expand to Bornu, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, Anugu, and things like that. But if you go on different platforms, uh, you know, I've had issues with different platforms ra- trying to raise money. It's because, you know, they, they might not see eye to eye and they might try to. I've had a lot of people try to uh, get into USA through us, but they don't like our plans. They just think there's going to be money for their own program. So that's why we haven't really been going on different <laughs> platforms but we can we can try that too or you guys could try that if you want to but it's just i've had a lot of jealousy and people think it's a competition instead of support so we're but we're ready to go we have haiti and jacksonville florida and we have a newspaper now borgu reaches seven countries at least so and uh we would like to have the Igbo voice the, the Bantu Nigeria Biafra voice to support us uh, or the Bantu voice and that will cover uh, half the continent. We, it's very important. And uh, Prince Will knows about the Bantu. He's reported it before. Uh, the Bantu culture in Nigeria in uh, Biafra. So, uh, or also known as Biafra, how it's uh, Bantu cultures. But that's <clears throat> that's all we had to say but if we could have your support, uh, that would mean a lot. Even from Anugu, I don't know what Professor Nwala, if he's busy. But that, we're, we're ready in the USA. Uh, it's just we have a lot of jealousy and people think it's a competition or a sabotage or they're trying to. But we're, we're ready. If people want to speak. If you want to have a be on a radio show over here, we have those contacts. You're trying to raise funds. We have those contacts. Uh, Prince Bio's r- working on the website, <coughs> and uh, Borgu is even bigger than most most of us even realized when we started. So we're 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 confident. So that's that's all we can say. Uh, but we appreciate any support from Anugu. All right.
So t- tomorrow at five, you you'll be available. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. All right, we're uh, would you guys want to talk to anybody over here or be on the radio or we'll talk about it later? I think that would be the way we would talk about it later. Uh, all right, well, I'm, I'm getting a new job, so yeah. uh, I'm gonna try to contribute what I can, but uh, uh it has to be a group effort. I'm gonna get people, but we're not working really on fa- uh, WhatsApp too much. Uh, just to let you know, it's just because uh, the brother in Uganda, the kingdom over there, I think they're kind of scared. They've been uh, like banned in the past, so they want to see what we do first. But this is, group is mostly for Uganda leadership to stay in contact. And also Gabon, we have some Igbo from Gabon here. They want to see what we do. And so it's going to go from Nigeria to Gabon to Uganda. But uh, USA, they said if you want to talk to them, they said they want to talk with you, and they put together a plan. So uh, they're ready. But we have, yeah, just put each other in the news, the Borgu Empire news. That'll be good. Prince Will's done some basketball things in the past, uh, and even he said there's a way to get us into the Olympics as an indigenous communities. So uh, I think he's a, va- <coughs> a valuable asset. Uh, going forward, yeah, and, and if, it'd be nice if we get uh, Eze G Nwala and uh, even uh, <clears throat> some of the Alaibo Development Foundation people helped with the, the people who came to Haiti, but then they returned to from Igbo land and they got banned from USA. I think that because of the whole autonomous communities in, the, in USA want to work to, with us, I think they were banned, they didn't, it was a type of sabotage. So, but we're gonna keep pushing. I, I have to. I think we can end the call, unless you guys have something. Okay, all right. Um, it's no problem. All right, all right. Can you give us a word about on ground what's going on? I know with the elections. <clears throat> uh, I don't want the election to overshadow this movement, but I've seen a lot of people try to drop the whole uh, autonomous region. Or Biafra, uh, autonomous Igbo land. Oh. I don't know what's going on, or what can you say is going on? Uh, well, I, I don't have interest in what direction. Yeah. So is it is, so. but the place isn't gonna. It's not gonna explode. It's not bad, 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 uh, bad leadership. Even if you hold them in, they will never change. So I don't mind my business. All right. <laughs> and with and with the sunrise, uh, the entrepreneurship. How's that going? Yeah, uh, we well, are to reach out to the, to the best privileged the, to the children who are still in school. Yeah, you know, kind of uh, supporting them with the right materials. I think that is uh, that has been our. Uh, major contribution to the society. Mm, that's good. I, I have I I have my last thing before I end the call. Would you be able or willing to download something called Wow App? It's an app where you can get paid for using it. I have a leadership from. Uh, uh, I have a leadership here. She's in Ghana right now, but she tra- She makes like a six figures U.S. dollars. Maybe over a hundred thousand dollars a year, and she's advising me to get people on Wow App. Maybe to maybe you guys could talk to her about maybe she does tourism. Maybe you could bring Borgu and Ebo Land on board, where she might have more free time and to coordinate travel. Like I haven't been to Nigeria, but she has contacts in Yoruba Land, uh, Ghana, Ethiopia. She's been urging me to invite you guys to to Wow App. Maybe you speak to her. I know I'm always busy, but she's an expert in raising money and working. I think maybe we could find a, a way to work together uh, to travel if you guys speak with her. Yeah, I think I, I, I joined the <laughs> world, but I don't have a contact. 
would would you be able to join the WoW app if we sent it to you, Prince Will? Or, and invite people? Yeah. N- now, I will, I will. I, I do want to mention that uh, sh- our tradition is Ewe, which you know is in Bidagri, the Lagos area, uh, Togo, Benin, Ghana. Basically, it's a Yoruba people who forgot uh, their connection, so it's a lot of confusion sometimes. But uh, yeah, it's a Yoruba tradition. She's she's in uh, Ghana now, as we speak. A lot of Ghana is a, a Khan Yoruba. Uh, there's a, a relationship there, so that's a lot of people here are into Yoruba traditions. But as you know, they're not organized across Africa like that. So uh, she might be in a different organization, but. Uh, she said, let's try to work together and maybe it'll make it faster because she, she travels every three months. Uh, she's in uh, Ghana or Nigeria or something. So maybe she wants she wants to make money uh, setting up tours. But, you know, we need security. And I think that's where Eboland, Biafra could come in. So it'll be important if uh, we send you the app and you download it. Uh, and maybe uh, I talk to her and we, we find a way to start working together. And and she, I think she could be a big help. All right. All right. All right. Uh, peace, everybody. All right. Peace. 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 Yeah. Oh, Prince Yakubu, can you send it? Send it to him, or I'll send it. The Wow app. I'll. I can send it. Well, I think. Okay. Okay. I can send it. I think it, uh, it's, it's, it's on Google Google Play Store. I'll send. I'll send it right now, and uh, maybe she sent me a message. Okay, no problem, my love. All right, I'm gonna upload this too. Uh, oh, also the last thing uh, we found out that with these group calls, we could record them. So that's why. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was saying maybe, and also Facebook has like uh, rooms, and it lets you do like your own channel, like a TV channel, where people could tune in. Yeah. We don't we don't want to get banned from it, but we say if we could we might be able to take over Facebook by creating if every community has a channel and a Facebook group, maybe we take over Facebook even when as we have our own uh, <coughs> our own website growing. So uh, some people uh, they might try to ban us, but that's why we're saying let's close all the WhatsApp groups. Let's try to take over Facebook and social media. Yes, my lord. You see, one one thing my my problem with uh, Facebook is by the time we're growing, before you know, they can easily they can just ban us for from Facebook. Yeah, that's my problem with Facebook. But I don't. I think uh, if Prince Will is helping, then it won't be a problem because I think all Ebo Land, uh, the Jaw, Afik, and all those people will start coming on board. We haven't had that before, you know. You know who we've been working with, so you know. All right, that'll be a new. I'll, I'm gonna post this on a uh, YouTube, yeah. and going forward, everybody could po- uh, record and post it, screen record, and post it or Zoom. Even Principal's done Zoom before, so I think we're, we, if we, if we organize NBC too, that'll be very good because. Uh, they'll know what is we're talking about community development and investing and Prince will have a lot of projects he could present. So thank you everybody. I'll just close. We've been here twenty minutes. Okay. All right. Bye. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye.